hello bookworms and welcome back to my channel today we are going to be going on a little adventure we are going to take a little trip to barnes and noble the reasoning for this is because it is a very gloomy day and hopefully that will change my mood so there are a couple books i am looking for but i don't know if they'll have them i've been looking for Book Lovers by Emily Henry ever since it like came out and I went to all the targets and I can't find it anywhere. Hopefully find it today. If you've watched any of my other videos you would know that I do not like Emily Henry but the book synopsis sounds promising so we're gonna give it a try. There are a couple other books that I'm thinking about. Darling Venom is I think one of them. Sarah Corley recommended it and then Steph Boyer read it so I definitely think I have to read it and Haley Fam read it. Let's go to Barnes and Noble. All right. We are here, we have arrived. We're going to go in, maybe get some coffee. So I got my little tote bag here because we're not going to be using a Barnes and Noble bag because they never have the Barnes and Noble bags ever. So sad. Now let's go and grab some books. Okay guys, I am home and I have secured the books. Here they are. It looks like I have a lot. It's amazing, best feeling in the world. Okay, in my little Mary Poppins bag here, we have four books. I'm gonna slowly pull them out of the bag so there's like a, a level of surprise still. First up, we have the book I came for. I'm so excited to read this. Um, book Lovers by Emily Henry. This is about two people who like love books. That's kind of in the title. But um, Nora is a literary agent and Charlie is a brooding editor. So they're kind of book nerds and I love that. And it's supposed to be like a fun rom-com. So this, it seems promising, but I don't really like Emily Henry, like I said, so we're just gonna give it a try. Now, I don't want to DNF it, but I know it's a possibility with that author, so. All right, next up we have Look at this beautiful. It's upside down. Look at this beautiful cover, guys. It is called The Problem with Forever. And I saw it and I was like, wow, so pretty. And then I saw Christina Lauren commented. She said, this book blew me away. I couldn't put it down. So that means I have to read it. And that means it's going to be amazing. I read the synopsis, which I don't like to do. Usually I just like to look at Goodreads. And if it's above a four, I read it. Below a four, I'm like, that might get me in a book slump. This one little hair is bugging me. Now it just looks like a rat's nest. So this book is about a girl named Mallory and she was homeschooled. Now some of you may know, I was homeschooled too. So I can already relate to the book, which is always promising. And um, it's about Mallory and her going to like public school her senior year and meeting her old childhood best friend who like was always protecting her and stuff and there was like a tension but not like bad tension you know what i mean and a writer is kind of on the wrong path mallory's you know homeschool good girl so she's well an angel so mallory is definitely the good influence on his life and she has to decide whether or not to stay silent or to speak out. I don't know. It looked cute. I like the cover. Next up we have Archer's Boys Baby by Nia Sheridan. Everyone talks about this book. <coughs> so this book is basically about a 
a girl who wants to go forget everything and move to this small town. And in this small town is Archer Hale. Archer Hale is a very quiet guy in this small town and everyone tells her, stay away from him, he's bad news. And of course she doesn't. Some people say that this reminds them a lot of the lucky one. I think it's the lucky one. Yeah, this is just so raved about. And Steph Boyer also had this on her five star books. So very excited, very excited to read this. And finally, I had to get it guys. I just had to, I can't go to Barnes without getting at least one Colleen Hoover book. Here we have Confess by Colleen Hoover herself. So basically I've heard about this book and I don't really want to read the back for the synopsis, but I know it's about like, you know, a couple of course, and one of them is a artist and they draw confessions. I don't know, very interesting idea for a book I thought. So definitely wanted to read it. I'm going to be doing a Colleen Hoover tier reading soon. So I had to finish reading all of her books to truly read them well on the tier list. Okay, so here we have all of our books that we got at Barnes & Noble today. And I know my mom is probably watching this video and she's like, London, why do you have money for books but nothing else? Well, mom, I had a gift card, okay? So that's why. Do you guys see this? Like stacked together, it looks so impressive. Like I'm gonna read all of those pages. Like I'm gonna feel like such a beast whenever I finish. Alrighty guys, so that is all the books I got at Barnes today. I love doing videos like these because I can shop for books and some people might find it entertaining, I hope. Um, but if you didn't, I did it for myself and I have fun. That is all for today's video. If you guys liked watching me go shop for books and blow my budget, then make sure to subscribe. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye!